the relatively few ayah is contained a rather comprehensive description of human development from the time of commingling of the gametes through organogenesis. No such distinct and complete record of human development, such as classification, terminology, and description, existed previously. In most, if not all, instances, this description antedates by many centuries the recording of the various stages of human embryonic and fetal development recorded in the traditional scientific literature. I find it very interesting that this sort of information is, is in the uh, ancient scriptures of the Holy Quran, and uh, I have no way of, of knowing where they would come from but uh, I think it is extremely interesting that they are there and that this work is going on to discover uh, the meaning of some of the passages. Then you have flatly denied to be just, you know, from a man or a human uh, source. From who then do you think the original or the source of such info, information? Well, I would think it must be the divine being. In Sutta, the Quran describes not only the development of external form, but emphasizes also the internal stages, the stages inside the embryo of its creation and development, emphasizing major events recognized by contemporary science. Thank you for your attention. As a scientist, I can only deal with things which I can specifically see. Uh, I can understand embryology and developmental biology. Uh, I can understand the words that are translated to me from the Koran. Uh, as I gave the example before, uh, if I were to transpose myself into that era, knowing what I do today, and describing things, I could not describe the things which uh, were described. Uh, I see no reason, uh, I see no evidence for the fact uh, to refute the concept uh, that uh, this individual, Muhammad, had to be developing this information from someplace. Uh, so I see nothing here in conflict with the concept that uh, divine intervention was involved.